In Italy, police clashed with protesters in Naples on Friday night over coronavirus restrictions. The demonstrators were angry over a new curfew that's been imposed from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. They were also protesting about the local governor's vow to place the region under lockdown in an attempt to reduce the rate of surging COVID-19 infections. The protesters threw rocks and smoke bombs, prompting police to respond with tear gas. Curfews are spreading across Europe as COVID-19 cases continue to accelerate. At midnight in several more French towns, including Strasbourg, a nighttime curfew came into force. Bars and restaurants were busy as customers made the most of the last night of freedom. Owners say their only chance of survival is to adapt to new hours. We'll have to open the kitchens earlier, let people in to eat from 5.30, 6 o'clock, so that people can leave and get back home in time for 9 p.m. Clearly we're expecting a fall in turnover of around 30 or 40 percent. Like Spain, France has crossed the million known cases threshold, with a real figure likely to be far higher. Europe is truly in the grip of a second wave, and governments are struggling to flatten it. The Czech Republic is experiencing an alarming rise in cases and medical staff are struggling to cope. Some small hospitals, such as this one in Kiev, are on the verge of collapse, according to staff. Doctors and nurses say they're working on their normal days off to avoid what they called an Italian-type scenario, referring to the chaos in that country's hospitals during the first wave back in spring. But despite all the bad news, a message of optimism and hope in the run-up to the festive season. Speaking from Finland, Santa Claus assures children around the world that Christmas will not be cancelled. The man with the world's most famous white beard is ready for action and sends a worldwide message urging everyone to stay safe.